Hello Deadside community, I want to talk about how you get good loot on PvP servers, so let's go! So when you're feeling a little bit confident in PvP fights and you have played this game for about 100 hours, um, you could take the next step and play, I would say, um, medium till hard missions, um, you could try it because there's a lot of uh, nice things um, or equipment like um, a VSD weapon for example or M99, a P90, um, an Altian helmet, um, you could find keys for the bunker so that's all things uh, which yeah, gives you good loot and also you could involved in PvP fights so yeah that's a reason to make missions. Sometimes you need a little bit luck to get um, good loot um, and I show you for example how I get a very nice tire aug and an Altian helmet and from a player which I suddenly saw um, while I'm running to a mission and this could also happen to you or to everybody. It's like surprise mother trucker No test I killed you mate What they talking about bro? What? God. This guy was equipped. Right. So I was pretty sure this guy was running in auto mode and was not hearing or I don't know. He didn't saw me so it was my advantage to kill this guy because I saw him, I heard him. If you keep your attention high you get good loot because you're very concentrated for PvP fights and it makes a lot of fun um, to kill people and uh, to steal their loot and I don't know to flex in the safe zone or to write with them in the chat but in a good mood you know with positive vibes not trolling them or I don't know um, abuse them look at this pretty Steyr Aug it is waiting for a nice pvp fight in the bunker did I say bunker? hmm when you enter the bunker be careful of tripwires at the moment it's very trendy to place tripwires in a bunker. Especially this spot. Yeah, that was kind of bali. So when you want to have good gear, go in the bunker because in the bunker mostly there are very high equipped players and when you kill one of them you get mostly a chili, uh, chili suit. Um, very nice weapons like VSD, M99, um, sometimes a stalker backpack, an Altin helmet, and heavy assault vest. One thing is, in my opinion, in the bunker, you need, um, you, you know, in PvP fights, you need patience because sometimes um, the enemy ha has a better position like you, so you have to try to bite him. Put 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 put, and um, to give him a hit so he is hurt, and then you could push him. It's like um, a balance between defending and attacking. So when you make a lot of um, PvP fights, you get a feeling for this. But it's a tip from my side. In most cases, when you hit your opponent, he will hide somewhere and healing himself. So this could be your chance to push him and to kill him. But on the other side you have to be very careful because they have Mad X for example or painkillers and they heal up very fast. So this could be go wrong also. Especially when you're playing against squads, um, it makes the situation a lot of difficult to win the fight because you hurt or killed the first guy but um, 
directly after that there comes the second guy and for example the first guy hit you a few times and you are low at HP so yeah you are done when the second guy is pushing you. These PvP fights you saw in the video I captured on low server. Um, I like the server very much because um, there are a max count of um, or a max number of a three-man squad and when you play solo there are a lot of other players playing solo so for me it's um, just um, balanced or fair fights or I could uh, recommend it to play on Love server. I hope you enjoyed the video if yes then I would appreciate it when you give me a like or a subscription and we see us in the next video. Bye bye.